What's up everyone, welcome to Keto Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can connect your WooCommerce store with Google Sheet and import all of your customer data like first name, last name, physical address, email address, phone number to your Google Sheet so that you can further retarget those audience or you can manually connect them and get feedback on your products and services. So for this we need to create API skin in WooCommerce and you don't have to use any extra plugin in your WooCommerce store. So let's check how you can do that. So if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and let's get started. So first of all we need to go to the Google Sheet here and we need to create a Google Sheet first. So I will click on blank sheet here and I can name, a, name this Google Sheet like WooCommerce data like this you can name it anything you want and after that we need to go to the woocommerce store here so i will go to the backend and let's go to the woocommerce and let's go to the settings here now you need to click on the advanced option here and here you will see this option rest api so just click on here now here we need to create a api key to import all of our data so I will click on create an API key here and you can set a description here. So I will set the API key to data import and I will select the user and let me select this option read and write generate API key. All right, we have created an API key in WooCommerce. Now we need to use a tool called make.com. So this website lets you import all of your e-commerce data to your Google Sheet. So for this, we can create a free account here. So I will click on get started free and I will log in with Google here and I will select my Gmail, click on continue. And here you can set the hosting region. So let me select US and select sign up for free and we can select anything from here and let's get started all right now our account is created here you can see different templates here so let's click on template option here and here let me search for woocommerce and here it is. Let's click on the first template, save new WooCommerce order to Google Sheet spreadsheet. So I will click on here. Now let me select the WooCommerce here and we need to create a connection. So let me click on here and here we need to enter the consumer key and consumer secret. So I will go to WooCommerce, copy the first one and I will paste it here. And I will again copy the consumer secret code from here and paste it here now i can copy my home page url here and i will paste the url here and let's hit save and you can see that we have successfully connected here and here you can see different status so whether you want to import all of your pending order status so i will i want to import all the completed order status here and let's click on continue and I will select all here and I will click on OK. Now we need to authorize our Google Sheet. So I will click on create a connection here and you need to sign in with your Google account. So I will select the Gmail here and let's hit continue. Let's allow the permission. All right, we have successfully connected our Google Sheet. So I will click on here and i will select the spreadsheet and i will select this spreadsheet that we have created woocommerce data and here you can select the seed name here so if you have multiple seed so you can select that seed as well so i will select the seed one here and here you can map different values so in a we can map like order id so in B section we can map first name and in C section we can set last name here similarly we can map different option here and let's click on continue and as you can see that our template is uh, added so let's click on run scenario and 
now it will fetch the data from WooCommerce to Google Sheet. So let's go to the Google Sheet here and as you can see that it has fetched the order ID, first name and last name. So in, in the similar way you can import um, email address, phone number and other data. So let's click on schedule your scenario here first. So we'll click on next. So I will click on enable edit mode and I will select schedule for every 15 minutes so that it will fetch the data after every 15 minutes. So I will click on OK here and we need to activate it. All right, we have activated the scenario. Now let me close that here and I will click on Google Sheet here and I can change different values. So in D section, let me choose email address here and in E section, I can choose phone number here and in app section, I can choose different options like I can choose the state here. All right, I will click on OK. Now let me go to the WooCommerce store here and let me go to order section here and let me select this two order to complete it. So change status to complete it. So let me apply it. And after every 15 minutes, it will fetch the data. So fetch the completed order data to this Google Sheet or you can manually run this as well. So I will click on run once here and it will fetch the data using API key and it will fetch the data from WooCommerce to Google Sheet. And let's go to the WooCommerce here and as you can see that it has fetched the data and it has fetched the email address here and it has fetched the phone number and fetched the state here as well. So in this way you can fetch the customer data about first name, last name, phone number, email address and you have all the options to fetch different data. So all you have to do is just select the values here and you will be able to fetch all of the e-commerce data using this. So you can see that you can check the refund status, shipping status, total tax collected to and the status like whether it is in processing data completed or not. You can check the currency here. You can check the card value. So you can see a lot of options and you can easily analyze your e-commerce data, analyze the data of your customer and you can further retarget those customer using different channels. So I hope you have learned how to connect Google Sheet with WooCommerce and fetch the data of your customer. And if you have any doubt regarding this, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.